Aloha and welcome back to the Pet Hui. Once again, we're here with Claude of Colton Farms who has been rescuing animals for years. And now he's here to tell us about this beautiful parrot. Claude? Yeah, this is a blue and gold macaw that I've had for many years. He is a rescue, a drop off I call it. Um, me and him are pretty good friends, <laughs> but he does not like the ladies. <laughs> Keep him turned away from me then. <laughs> yeah. But he's so beautiful. Yeah, he has his own conversations. Um, wild parrots do come into the yard and visit him, but he is a pretty awesome bird though. So Claude, I understand you have a wide range of animals from donkeys, llamas, alpacas. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, we do have some semi-exotic farm animals that people can come and visit at the farm, or we can do farm encounters and we can bring them out to your guys' location. Perfect. So if they want to contact you, how would they get in touch with you? So they would call my personal number, 216-6431. And we also do have beautiful mini cows too. Perfect. That's Claude of Colton Farms. Now let's head over to some adoptable fur babies at the Hawaiian Humane Society. I want to be happy, happy, happy. I'm going to be happy. Hi, guys. Wendy here with my new adoptable friend, Bella. Bella is part hound mix. She's about eight to 10 years old, and she's super lovable. Let's find out more. First, let's see what kind of a walker Bella is. Come on, Bella, let's go this way. Wow, easily guided, uh, no tugging, super gentle, nice slow walker. Wow, super easy dog. Let's see how Bella does with other dogs. Wow, Bella, very good. She's not aggressive and also not very interested. From my experience, I'd rather have a non-interested dog in other dogs than to have an aggressive dog when you're walking them. And she seems to be one of those mild-tempered dogs. So what we know about Bella is that she was found with another dog that was pregnant. Bella has been bred a few times and might have gone to a few altercations. She might have even been a bait dog. But after all that this dog has been through, she is probably the most gentle giant I have ever met. Let's see if Bella is treat driven or knows any tricks. Bella, would you like to have a treat? No treats, but let's see if you know how to sit. Sit, Bella, sit, sit. Doesn't know any tricks yet. You don't know how to sit. So a lot of times dogs communicate with their tails and what we're noticing about Bella is that she's a little timid right now because it's a new environment. But I heard that after a couple weeks, she does get adjusted. And this tail will pop right up and wag around. The ideal home for Bella would be somewhere where she can adjust for about a month and have a constant companion. Um, definitely another dog. She likes the companionship of another dog. You may have also noticed that Bella has a tracker on. Bella is known to try to flee the first couple weeks she's getting adjusted to a new home. But after maybe about a month, she should be fine. One other important thing you'll want to know about Bella is that we'll want to keep her away from small birds and cats. Um, she does have a small prey tendency. Hey Bella, you want to hop up on here? Up, up, up. Good dog. The circus is coming to town. For those of you that lead an active lifestyle and want a dog that can run with you, let's see if Bella's the right one. I think she gets an A plus. She's a good runner. Good girl. We're gonna do a sensitivity to touch test. Are you ready? Nose. Head, ears, neck, chest, booty, tail. She's great. She's a cuddle book. I've been petting Bella for a while, and I think her favorite spot is her face. Look at this adorable face. And she likes to be sung to. <laughs> well, if you live in Hawaii, you're going to want a beach dog. Let's see if Bella is a beach dog. Do you like sand? Okay, love sand. Sand's good. Do you like to swim? Oh, I think it's a little cold. Okay, maybe not gonna warm up to water just yet. 
Last but not least, let's check if Bella has any food aggression. You ready, Bella girl? You like Portuguese sausage? Are you a local girl like me? Oh, she likes Portuguese sausage. Let's see, food aggression, food aggression, no food aggression. She's very patient and gentle. Good girl. You want some more? Like all the dogs at Hope for Dogs Rescue, Bella is up to date on all her vaccines. She spayed and microchipped. I noticed that when Bella's trying to eat, her teeth are very sensitive, but like all the dogs at Hope for Dogs Rescue, they take care of all the medical and dental needs of each dog. It's a really amazing local organization. And if you want to support them and donate to them, they have a Facebook page and they have a website, HopeForDogsRescue.com. HopeForDogsRescue.com is a foster-based uh, organization. So the more foster families they have, the more dogs they can rescue. So if you want to apply, you can go to their website, HopeForDogsRescue.com, and they have an online application.